Hey, Mr. K, what are we doing in uh, social studies in seventh grade here today? Hello, I've divided the kids into two groups. We've got big city over here and then small town, and they are arguing about whether or not to build a hydroelectric dam. They're about to present their closing arguments to decide if our town is going to build a dam or not. So let's introduce big city. <laughs> What's up, big city people? All right, so tell, tell me your names. Just first name. I'm Hudson. Hudson. All right, over here. Small town. I'm Dane. I'm John. Hi, I'm Ryan. All right, we ready? These are our closing arguments. All right, here we go. Okay. All right, so, so this dam is probably going to be a federal dam, meaning it's going to have a much lower cost. But still, it's $4 billion, which is a very high amount of money. And that's if it's like a safe dam. If you want like a high hazard dam, meaning it's not built very well, it's going to be like $3 billion. So that's still a high amount of money, even though it's not safe. The dam will provide clean water for everyone, no matter where they are, in the city or in the small town, because of the overflow that goes to the small town. Just because a small town is a small town and it has a small population, that doesn't mean you can't show maybe some empathy towards the civilians that live there. If it were like maybe a country somewhere else, then maybe you'd show empathy, but because it affects you personally, then maybe you have a different opinion. The dam will bring new jobs and that'll make it so that oh, it actually gains money in the long run. Um, building dams are gonna destroy a lot of the aquatic species that need the water flow to live. And the dams will just destroy You don't realize though is that hydropower energy will be able to be uh, powered and that will bring the energy um, pow uh, costs way down and it will also bring climate change down and everything else like with the uh, heat and radiation.